Hey friends, I hope y'all are having a great day today. If you're new, my name's Alicia and today's video we're doing two crock pot recipes for Crocktober. So the first meal that we're making is ranch chicken pasta and I originally found this recipe on C. Mindy Mom's channel and I will link that video in the description box for y'all. I've actually shared this with y'all before but it was in the instant pot and it has been I think a little bit. But you just want to start off with one to three chicken breasts, depending on how much chicken you like. And then one block of cream cheese, one packet of ranch seasoning, and five cups of chicken broth. You'll let it cook on high for two to four hours or on low for four to six. And then you'll break up your chicken or shred it up a little bit and stir it around. And then add one pound of pasta and you'll cook that on high for 30 minutes. If it looks a little dry, just slowly add in more water or more chicken broth until it gets to the consistency that you need it to be. And you'll see I need to add more water because there's just not enough to cook the pasta. If you're scared about cooking pasta in the crock pot, I'm here to tell you you don't need to be. It turns out perfect and it doesn't have like a weird texture to it like I thought it would whenever I first tried this out. You'll want to stir it about every five to ten minutes that way the pasta that's not submerged will kind of get rotated and nothing will stick together. So to go along with our ranch chicken pasta I just steamed up some purple cauliflower with a little butter and salt and I just included the first photo so y'all would know that I wasn't lying about it but this is just delicious. The purple cauliflower tastes like regular cauliflower. It's delicious. The second crock pot meal that we're making is chili and it's one of my very favorite foods. We are starting off with half a pound each of red kidney beans, pinto beans, and black beans. I just washed them really well and then picked through them to make sure there was no bad looking ones, added water, and cooked them for 30 minutes in my instant pot. You can of course use canned beans, but I usually just use dry beans. I promise my crock pot is clean, but I had a few carrots that were looking pretty rough around the edges, so I just shredded them up with my cheese grater. I'm adding those to my crock pot along with two pounds of deer meat. So normally I would just use about a pound of meat and normally I'm using ground beef or ground pork. We were gifted a two pound roll of deer meat and I just wanted to go ahead and use it all. I could have frozen half of it for later, but I just didn't want to. Anywho, I'm also going to dice up an onion and mince up an entire head of garlic and add that in as well. Now that I've got my onions and garlic in and stirred up, I'm adding in one large can of crushed tomatoes and one large can of Italian style petite diced tomatoes. My chili recipe is pretty much never the same because I always like to work with what I have on hand and I encourage y'all to do the same. If you don't have exactly everything that I have, then just work with what you do have. It's going to turn out delicious. I'm also going to add a little bit of water to the crushed tomato can just to get the rest of it out of there. I don't want to add too much because I got a lot of beans that I still need to add once they're finished cooking. Next I'm going to be adding in a good amount of seasoning which includes chili powder, cumin, garlic powder, onion powder, garlic salt, some tomato chicken bouillon. I always try to use the tomato chicken bouillon in things that I would typically use bouillon powder in but it's not going to matter if it's dyed red a little. I hope that makes sense. I've ran out before and had red egg drop soup, and it's actually in one of my videos. It tasted really good. It just didn't look all the best. But anyways, that's why I try to use it in other places. 
So aside from the seasonings that you see me add, I don't actually add anything else. Originally, I thought I might need to add like a little bit of sugar to kind of tone down the acidity level from the canned tomatoes. But once I tasted it when the chili was done, I realized it was perfect and I didn't need to add anything else. So here's my beans once they're done in the instant pot and they weren't completely done but they're going to cook most of the day in the crock pot with the chili anyway so that didn't matter. I just wanted them most of the way done. So I got my chili started early in the morning and then as soon as the beans were done I added those in and just let it cook together until we were ready to eat. And we actually got three dinners out of this plus one lunch. So in case y'all don't know, chili is one of those foods that gets better the more that you let it sit. So even though it was very delicious on night one, the second time we had it, it was even better. And then the third time we had it, it was even better than that. So good. One of my favorite meals for sure. I hope y'all enjoyed these Crocktober recipes. And always remember that Jesus loves y'all and I love y'all too. I hope y'all have a fantastic day and I'll see you soon. Bye.